So they lynched Mary Turner's husband. Now, uh, this particular morning, Mary was still grieving the death of her husband, who was probably still hanging up about a mile away or less. So, <clears throat> this was understandable. So, she was a young woman, and she was enraged, and she vowed, and she told the people she was going to get revenge. She was going to get payback. She was going to call federal or other authorities to look into all the people who were involved with the lynching of her husband. So, she was so upset that she told them that, look, I'm going to swear out affidavits and arrest warrants against everybody involved. And guess what? Her attitude infuriated the white mob, the people who were involved, these murderers, okay? So, about two or two, three days later, this same lynch mob, who had just hung her husband, they went looking for Mary. Mary Turner. But guess what? Mary was pregnant with a baby. So, <clears throat> the eight month pregnant Mary Turner tried to get away. She tried to get away from the mob of white people, the white mob who had two days prior lynched and killed her husband. Okay. So, as she tried to flee, she couldn't get far because she was eight months pregnant. They caught up with her. The mob. They took the 20-year-old woman to the exact same spot where they had hung her husband a couple of days earlier. They tied a rope around Mary's ankles. They poured gasoline on young Mary. And they watched her burned. They watched young Mary turn pregnant, eight months old, burn to death. Now, As she screamed, one of the men from the mob pulled out a large hog-splitting knife and they cut Mary Turner open. Mary Turner's baby fell out onto the ground and one of the men stomped the newborn baby to death with the heel of his boot. Can you imagine such a horrible death for a mother and her baby who had done nothing but try to seek justice for her husband? Now, they didn't finish there, though. <laughs> well, you're not going to believe this. They took Mary's body, a couple of the men took Mary's body, and they cut her open. And they said, I wonder what will happen. This is her dead body. And they put a live cat inside her damn body, sewed it up inside her. And they wait, and a bunch of them got together and watched as that cat clawed and pried his way out of this woman, this woman's body, where the baby once was that they stomped and killed. Okay. Now, you say, well, what's the purpose of me telling you this story? Because it's history. Because it's hidden history. Because when people ask about reparations, when they talk about the past, when they talk about slavery, when they tell you don't bring up the Holocaust. This was a Holocaust. And these stories and this information is being erased 
just like every lot of people's blogs and posts and networks and channels and platforms are being taken down because this information is getting out and they don't want this type of stuff to get out. That's why I'm telling you about it. That's why I told you about Mary Turner, because her story deserves to be told.